No. The, the imps respond. I can hear your laugh. Uh, where are you? Where are you? I hear your laugh. Where are you? Oh. Will you spawn when I come down here? Where are you? Oh, no. Oh. Uh. You stupid jerk. How do I get rid of you without you scaring me? Uh, can I just do this really fast? Okay, I'm gonna have to do it really fast. Okay, ready. Set. Run! No, 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 no. Oh, stupid. Don't give me a kiss. No. Duh. Just, no. Just please leave me alone. Okay. Gone. Stupid Shriker. Oh. Hey guys and gals. I'm Pal and welcome back to Okami. Last episode, we met Stupid Shriker, which I'm just gonna call her that because she shrikes and it's scary. Uh, I wasn't actually going to start the episode right then and there because um, I was going to go to where we actually last left off but she was there and she followed me all the way out here stupid uh, yeah and so anyway hey guys and gals I'm pal and welcome back to Okami last episode I got scared to death by ghosts and ghouls and uh, creepy dolls and you name it I was scared by it it was just horrible stupid doll and also trick chests yeah you can't really see it there but they're fake chests um, and this episode I'm ho hopefully not going to be spare scared although if the beginning of this episode was any indication uh, my hope is not going to be answered and also did I wrongly no I didn't okay I was gonna I was wondering did I wrongly do that but no I was I was right to raise the water level. So anyway, uh, when we last left off, I I was in this room, and also if you missed last episode, you should you should go back and watch it. But uh, I was I wanted to go in this room. Also, what is that? What on earth is that thing? Is that like that must be draw a graphical glitch or something? Yeah, that's a graphical glitch because that that just should not appear in the normal world of Okami. Uh, because. We saw a hand in here, and I was just too scared to go in this room. And also, there's something breathing over there? Which is not good. I mean, if there's anything that I would be excited about, a breathing thing on the floor is not one of them. Whoa! No! That is not cool either! Or hands appearing and trying to... S no! Oh! The thing's trying to murderify me! Oh boy, I did not expect that. What on earth is that thing? I even looked it up and that has no official name. It's just called the devil or the demon or the, the ghoul or the angry dude that's making peace signs and try and kill me. Okay, is he going to come up again? Yes, he is. Okay, I'm just going to keep running. Just keep running. Just keep going. Just run, run like a, devil's cha a demon's chasing you because it is. Okay, am I safe? Am I safe? I'm safe, I think. Okay. Whew! That was... That was exciting. Uh... Let's see, what are we supposed to do here? I don't I don't think I should have come up here. Because I can't actually change it today. So, let's go back down here and hopefully... Uh, what even is that thing? What on earth is that? Like, it's, it's not a face. It's like a barnacle? It has a mouth. I have no idea what that thing is. And now that I expect the hands, they're not really that scary anymore. Um, in fact, it's making a peace sign, which isn't very menacing. 
Okay, what am I supposed to do here? Is it trying to hit me? No, it's not. Okay, it's good. It's cool if I stand right here. Even though it's breathing and I hate it's breathing. What do I do? Do I go over here? Whoa! Wait, can I have him lift up this spiked barrel? Would that work? Would that work? What what am I supposed to do? Hmm. Uh pick this up. No, that doesn't work. Whoa! Okay, now now he's trying to kill me. What What am I supposed to be doing here? I have no idea. Am I supposed to drain the water somehow? What on earth? Uh, wait. Would that work? Can I even, like, suck up one of those barrels? Wait, no, no, no. I have it. I have the answer, maybe? No. Wait, am I supposed to? Oh, wait. Yeah, that's what I'm supposed to do. Okay. Okay. Stuff's making a little bit more sense. Although I'm still a little bit in the dark, because what am I supposed to do? Oh, I'm supposed to roll this. Oh! I see what you did to our game. Okay, can I just do this? Yes, I can. Okay. The the beastly sludge dude is following me, but that's fine. I can just hook this here. And then... Okay, it's hooked. And then what I can do... Oh, I totally get it now. Oh, okay, you guys see what what's happening? I just jump up here, and how on earth did I ignore this treasure chest? Uh, monkey statue, okay, I'll take it. And where do I go from here? Oh, I need to go up. Can I reach that? No, I can't. So, what I need to do next, this makes total sense now. Whoa, you, you were above the water. At least this guy doesn't move while I'm using the celestial brush. Unlike a certain ghost that I encountered this episode. Wait. Do you guys hear that? I thought I heard a frog just now. I could I could be wrong, but I thought I heard a frog. So anyway, let's go ahead and run. Run. Like that. And very easy. Okay. Now he's going to try and crush me right here, but I, I expected it this time. So what I can do is now that that barrel is acting as the counterweight, I can go down here, jump down. Now you're like, oh no, pal, now you have to run back around. No, I figured it out. You make the, the moon here, or the sun. No, the moon. The moon and the sun, rather. Once again, a lunar eclipse, which actually looks pretty sweet. Like, that looks really, really sweet. That is pretty cool. But now, the counterweight's there so we can actually backtrack it and jump over here. Uh, Jump over here. There we are. And then, I'm not sure what we're supposed to do next, but I have a feeling it's going to involve these spiked barrels. Just, just a, a thought. Hmm. Okay, well we have this board here, preventing it moving from moving this way, yes. So what I think we should do is just roll this barrel, ow, onto this guy. Let's see if that'll work. Also, that is a face, sort of. Looks sort of like a face. Okay, do we do it? Okay, I just jump off and watch him die. No, my weight has to be applied. Okay, so... Nope! Oh, duh! They get off me! Okay, well, let's just do the other barrel, because... Uh, we... That one left a mark, so we can finish him off with this one, maybe? Jump. This actually... He looks a lot like Kelp. So he's like a Kelp monster. And is he dead? Is he dead? Should be almost dead, like... This would hurt. Yay, there we go. 50 praise. Nice. I will definitely take that. Also, I have enough praise that I should probably level up one of my divine attributes. And I think I'll level up health because that will also heal me, I believe. Yes, it will. So we now have uh, 4, 8, 10. We have 10 units of health, which is definitely enough. Okay, now that we have defeated that monster there, which really... Now that I think about it, it wasn't required, but it gave us 50 praise. So, I mean, why on earth would you not defeat that monster? Um, so we can head back here. Go around. And if you remember, last episode, we had uh, we had shot the wall right here. And there was uh, an exercising arrow, arrow right here. And we can use that to kill the lockjaw. 
there we are. Okay, so with the door out of the way, we can head to the very end. Look at the map, like, there's nowhere else where we can go, so this pr is presumably the end. Here we go. Whoa, 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 I recognize you. I can't move. I can't get out. Get off me. It's, it's the Crimson Helm. Get off me. Uh, can I move now? Okay. Uh, that was very unexpected, but I'll take it. Okay. I'm surprised I didn't get startled by that, although he, the Crimson Helm really doesn't have as scary a face as the Spider Queen, so I am I understand why I didn't freak out there. Okay, in this chest we have a lacquerware set, and in this chest I believe I should probably check my pl collectibles guide just to make sure, uh, de -bit de -bit, okay, I, I just need to make sure that this is not the collectible we came here for, and it is, huh. Huh. Hopefully this won't warp me out after whatever text appears will appear, because I still have other treasure to obtain. What is this? Finally, something interesting. Wait, this is a lucky mallet. Is this what you're looking for, babe? It can shrink people down until they become so small that they can pass through the eye of, the eye of a needle. Certainly, a tool with such powers is a great treasure. But it doesn't provide an answer to Queen Himiko's prayers for peace. Hmm. Someone else mentioned an eye of a needle lately. Oh yeah, it was that half-baked prophet Waka back in Seon City. Remember? He said something like, Even the most solid defense has a tiny gap, like the eye of a needle. Wonder what kind of place he was talking about. Matarasu, it seems that what I was looking for isn't on the ship. Unfortunately, we must leave without it. Not before I get the rest of this loot. Aw, oh, cheer up, babe. The ocean's a big place. You'll find what you want somewhere. That may be so. And that's also dating advice. Uh, there are a lot of fish in the pond, and there is a fish for you. Which is very out of place in a recording. But, hey, if there's anyone, if there's anyone looking for their fish, which sounds incredibly strange, you take my advice. He slash she is out there. Somewhere. Uh, a whole new mini meaning of fish fishers of men. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to stop now. I'm just going too far. Uh, but going into the ocean now would be suicide. Well, as long as the water dragon is still about, that is. Sheesh. Nobody can shut up about that thing. You'd think the water dragon ruled Ryushima Coast or something. Well, don't forget we have Boss Ami here with us. Let's go think things over back in the city. I'm sick of this ship. How could you be sick? Oh, well, actually, uh... I had forgotten that this is just the treasure room. Everything else on this ship is scary. Except for the stray bead! Because the stray bead is really all that I care about. Also, all these fake chests, which will give us money. If we just do that. Oh, wait, sorry, we actually. Oh, bit, 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 bit. That. And. This. Die. Are you still alive? Yes, you are. Are you gonna come after? What are you doing? What? What? What are you doing? <laughs> that that this totally makes up for all of the troubles we've had this ship. Oh, oh goodness. You you have a predicament, sir. Uh you must be related to that one Technoblin. Uh, in a couple one or two you will recognize that reference. Uh back in Scarred Sword there was a Technoblin that I made dance. And uh, this guy must be his cousin because this is this is absolutely hilarious. Okay, uh, let Rao put you out of your misery so that our ears can have a rest from your screeching. There you go. Rest in peace, brother. Or blow up. So can we do it with this guy? Please? Just get close. Wait, let's power slash him. And then get right here. Nope, 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 nope. Get right here. Will he do it? No, he won't. Okay, I'll just have to finish him off. Hopefully, without getting hit. Doobah doobah! He's dead? No, he's not. Power slash, you're done. Okay. They they actually give you quite a bit of money. Um, I want to see how much money they give me right here. So let's go ahead and use this on that. 
Okay. Are you dead? You're still after me, okay? And you're not... You're running away. Okay. We have 48,000 yen, and now we have 49. So it looks like they give us 1,000 yen. Or we're close to it. More like 800. So that's actually very worthwhile. So they actually do reward you, after all. Okay. Uh, we have definitely looted the ship. There's nothing here for us. So... I think, after I destroy these two pots, we can leave. And I would like to show this, because never mind. There's a loading screen, and the game designers are wonderful. Thank you, game designers, for putting this function in that you just warped me out. Thank you. It's quiet. Too quiet. Huh? C can't you swim any faster, Matarasu? Huh? I mean, what do you expect, babe? Ami's a wolf, not a speedboat. Breaking the fourth wall -y soon. Thank you, sir. Oh, I get it, babe. You want to go to the bathroom, right? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> we don't mind. And there's nothing but wide open sea all around. Nobody's looking. <laughs> Go ahead. That's what everyone does. <laughs> I'm sorry, Yusun, but you're ruining this cutscene. You don't understand. This, this swelling of the waves is a sign that it's coming. Oh, snap. We'll be helpless if we're attacked here. Here we go again. I'm sure it's just a big salmon, or a cutlass fish, I don't know. If it is that water dragon, was it? If it is, we'll take care of the beast in Jiffy. It'll regret the day it messed with us. Um. Scratch that. Whoa, whoa what the? Where'd that thing come from? Is that the water dragon? Look out! Oh snap, it's a it's after us for realsies, isn't it? Okay, here's my solution. Uh, lily pad, and when it comes close, when it comes close, when it comes close, jump! Huh? Where are we? We're not... Oh, cruel world! I'm too young and handsome to die! Er, on second thought, maybe we just washed up on the shore. Did you see what attacked us? It was huge! What in the world was it, Ami? Nobody told me something like that was on the loose around. Actually, everyone did. And what's with that babe? She just took off without us. Boy, I'm going to give her a piece of my mind next time we meet. Huh? This mallet just jumped out by itself. Whoa, I hate to see treasure run off like that. After it, Ami! Go, Steed! Uh, that, that was quite a development. Uh, stuff happened there. You notice that the water dragon went after Rao at first. It, it, it wasn't concerned with us at all until Rao had escaped. Interesting. Huh, huh. <laughs> uh, maybe the water dragon recognizes a treasure when he sees it. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Well, even though we're back in the uh, nice old trusty dingy Seon City, I'm still glad to be out of that ship because I had enough scares for uh, a long time. The LP, actually. I, I don't, I scare too easily. But really, where on earth is this thing leading us? Man, that's gross. Seriously, where can we talk to uh, Ben K? Actually, in the comments, uh, one of my viewers had mentioned that I was calling, I was pronouncing his name wrong. Which, thank you. Um, it's not often that the viewers like correct me on something, and I actually like it because you know it makes me feel like you guys are paying attention. So I was told that uh, I should not be calling him Ben Kai. 
His name is actually Ben K. Which, now that I think about it, it that's completely right because uh, I believe E's are always A. Yeah, E's are A. So I have no idea why I was calling him Ben Kai, but man, Ben K. That sounds a lot better. I have come to realize how foolish my obsession with swords is. But fishing, now that is a most worthy pursuit. Yes, it is. And he says nothing about the lucky mallet, which I kind of wish that he had, because this thing is really weird. Like, it's kind of freaky. It's like running away from us, and it's not even living. Strange. Capcom logic. Well, there's Rao, and where is the lucky mallet? Rao, have you seen the lucky mallet? Oh, thank goodness you're safe, Amaterasu. Hey, babe, what are you doing here? And how don't how come you didn't tell us about that monster? She did. <laughs> I, I'm sure I mentioned something about the water dragon, didn't I? Bah, whatever. Anyway, you'd better not be trying to trick us. What are you talking about? I was nearly eaten alive too, you know. But however did you get away? You're a rather slow swimmer. That's only when we have a gigantic person on our backs. What, what did what did you just say? Take that back! Ami gets kind of sensitive about her flaws. <laughs> uh, I would never have noticed that. The fox rods. If they're not on that ship, then where on earth are they? If they're lost in the sea, the, va the vast realm of the water dragon, there's no way we'll ever find them. Oh, cheer up. I'd hate to see you and... Cry. Ha. <laughs> ha. <laughs> ha. Isun. I am not kidding. I really wish that there was a button for for put a uh, put Isun in my mouth because I'd totally do it. And if we weren't chasing Lucky Mallet at the moment, I would totally just like throw you in the water or something. Don't you push me. I'm not to be pushed. Oh, there's Lucky Mallet. Okay. Isun's comment aside, uh, where on earth is this leading us? It's <laughs> we kind of got ahead of it th right there. It's pointing us toward the place where we've already gone. Well, this is nothing new, so why are we going here? Why on earth? Okay. Nothing new. All old stuff, except... Aha! <laughs> now you, now we've got you cornered. You, you, you... Mallet! No treasures ever ex escape from the great Isun. Believe us, we know. We've we've seen how much you chase after uh, everyone, <laughs> especially especially Sakia. Uh, got her right where you wanted her. Definitely, no doubt. I'm gonna I'm gonna sell you to some greedy merchant and hmm. Hey, wait. Check it out, Ami. Isn't this the palace where that swirling mist was coming from? You made us chase you here for a reason, Mallet. Wait, wait, I think I get it. The lucky mallet can shrink people, right? You want to shrink Ami here. Then you want us to go into that creepy looking hole, don't you? I don't know. Why would Hammerhead here want us to go in there? He soon comes up with the greatest names, like seriously. Well, it, the whole babe thing is like not very uh, imaginative, but the whole Pops thing and I, I, all the names he calls everyone, I guess, are just... They're just so good. Gotta love the writing in this game. Still, it might be worth checking out, Ami. I mean, this place has gotta have be the source of that mist. If Queen Himiko's not not gonna do anything about this mess, then it's up to us to find out the truth. Anyway, we haven't found a single brush technique in this stupid city. How could we possibly pass up this palace? Okay, Mallet, we'll enter the hole. Now come on and work your magic on Furball here. Ready to get hammered, Ami? <laughs> Ready to get hammered? Um, uh, I've never tried that before, but <laughs> there's the first time for everything. Uh, <laughs> hammer me, Mallet. Now that's what I wanted to hear. Furball's all yours, Mallet. Hammer away. Blong. And it also grants us the powers of levitation.
Here we are. One of my favorite parts of this game. Oh, it's it feels so good. <laughs> ha 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 ha! You should see the look on your face. A few shakes of a lucky mallet reduces things to my size. It's not for clobbering people or anything, silly. Boy, I'll never get tired of messing with your head. Huh? What's gotten into you? You forgot what I looked looked like already? Now you listen here, furball. You better remember me this time, or else. I'm Isun, the watering, wandering artist. You got it? I'm so glad I have a gift of that. Wandering artist, Isun. <clears throat> Times a thousand. <laughs> I love that. Besides, I'm so dashingly handsome, who else could it be? Bet you see me in a new light now. Uh... I, I pretty much see this entire area in a new light. Hey, I'm talking to you! Ah, uh, forget it. Let's check out the palace. We gotta find out what's behind that swirling mist. You may be no bigger than a dust bunny now, but I bet you still got a lot of fight in you. Man, he weighs a lot more. Well, time's a-wasting. But there's something you need to know first. I mean, this is like a brand new world to you. I'm here to help you when you really need it. For example, see that chest all wrapped up in chains over there? If you can guide me over to it with your celestial brush, I'll pop on over and snatch whatever's inside. Come on, let's try it out right now. Okay, uh, send me a new brush technique. It's, it's just another stream technique. Uh, but it's interesting because it's Isun this time that's using it. That's just... That excites me. Now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Nothing stands in the way of my trusty sword, Denkumaru. But listen up. I don't want you getting any funny ideas. I may be one mean, uh, one mean sucker, but don't go launching me at monsters. I mean, I might just lose it if you did that. You'd have to clean up my bloody aftermath. Okay, now that everything's clear, let's get going. Okay, sure. This is one of my all-time favorite parts of this game. You know why? Because of The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap, one of my favorite Zelda games. In it, uh, no, no spoil. I don't think this is spoilers, but you shrink down to about this size, and you see all these clovers and, like, the plants, and you, the grass is kind of making kind of, like, hallways like this. And the cool thing about that is that The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap was made by Capcom. This game was also made by Capcom, so you can see in many parts here, for those of you who play, have played Minish Cap, that they, in, at least I'm pretty sure, I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt it in the slightest, they took heavy inspiration from Minish Cap, which I love, because Minish Cap is an over-the-top view, and this is like, this is third wolf view, it's so cool. Whoa! Whoa, that was close. Better watch out, Ami. Remember, you're no bigger than a dust bunny now. Better watch it, or else or we'll end up on the bottom of someone's shoe. Heh, <laughs> now you know what I have to deal with. Anyway, this mist is getting thicker, isn't it? I knew there was something fishy about this place. Okay, uh, that's going to be it for this episode. Before I end it off, though, I'd like to tell you guys what I, I went through in that loading screen. Uh, for you guys, that was just a, a normal loading screen, right? You, we just went through the loading screen and we're done. But it wasn't that simple. Uh, I went to the loading screen, right, after the cutscene? My Wii froze. And I had to play through the game. Well, not the entire game, but uh, from my last save point, so last episode, up to this point again. And so... That was a joy, so if my money looks a tad off, that's because I had to uh, do some stuff off screen to ke play catch up. So, yeah, uh, that's going to be it for this episode. 
If you like this episode, then comment. If you didn't like this episode, then tell me in the comments how I can make next episode so that you would like it. And next time, we'll go through this area. One of my favorite areas of the game. I love it so much. Uh, I release new episodes of Okami uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Saturdays are long episodes. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love it. Okay. This is this is so good, guys. I, I This is so good. You know why? Because we just got out of the sunken ship. Like, the scariest area in the game. At least for me. And now we're in my favorite area. Ah! So I love it. Okay, I'll stop gushing and just go ahead and uh, initiate the end slate. Uh, end slate? Initiate!